Hello guys, welcome back. This is the second video in the Olama video series. And in the previous video, I showed you how to install Olama and run the models locally, right? Let me open this one. These first step are the ones that I showed you in the last video. But this one, what if we have the Olama web UI, right? That we can have the chat GPT like UI. For that, I found this Olama web UI as you just saw here. What is it? It is the chat GPT style web UI client for Olama. The UI will look something like this. If you are using the chat GPT, then you know that UI is similar to this, right? At the end of the video, we will have something like this where you can download the model using Olama and run it uh, in the web UI. Let's get started. Before we get started, this Olama web UI has two prerequisites. One is you need to have Olama installed. Next one is Docker desktop. By the way, if you have already followed my previous video or if you know something about Olama before, you know that it's, it is similar to Docker, right? We need to pull the images and then we need to run the images similar to how it works in the Docker. We need to have Olama and Docker installed. I hope if you don't have Olama, please follow my previous videos or just download it if you know how to do it. And for Docker desktop also, just go to the Docker website and download the one that is best for your machine. Once that is done, go to the terminal and make sure that you have that installed, right? For example, it's not only installed because it needs to be running also. To test that, go to the terminal and just run Olama. If it shows something like this, then it is running. It's running, let's say like that. And if the Docker is running or not, if you just type here Docker, Okay, if it shows some commands here, then we know that it is installed and it is running. Okay, now it shows that the Docker is there, right? If you have both of these, then we are ready to go. Once you have both Olama and Docker installed and running in your machine, we can move to the next step, installing the Olama web UI. We'll just follow the steps here. This is the steps. You can go through all the different details that it provides. And you can see there are many things here. You can go at your own time. But what we are going to do is we are going to use Docker to run this, right? Now, what we will do is we will go all the way down here to how to install things. Important note on the user roles and privacy things. You can go and read this one. But steps to install Olama web UI. Before you begin, as I said you before also, we need to have the Docker. Go to the official website and download it. Uh, that is for Mac OS or Windows and this is for Ubuntu and other Linux users. Once you are done with that, second step is ensure you have the latest version of Olama. As I said before, you can download from this website or follow the previous videos about Olama. And you, you can go to this web UI to see if it is running or not, right? I just click this and if I now go here, as you can see, it says Olama is running, meaning that that's fine. Now let me again go here and installing with Docker. As I said before also, we are going to use uh, Docker to install it. There are two things. One thing is if Olama is on your computer, use this command. You can just use this one. You can just copy this. And to build the container yourself, follow this step. You can just go this and follow these two steps. But we already have Olama installed, so I, I already copied this one. I will now go to the terminal. Just go here and I will clear the screen and I will do control V. So I will run enter. So it says unable to find the images. It does not find the image locally. If there was image already, then it will just take that image and it will be faster. But now it is trying to install some of the things which it is needed, right? After this is done, as it says in the GitHub readme page, we can now go to this Olama web UI at localhost 3000. I will just open this in a new tab. And now I will just run it. It is not running because if I go to the terminal, you can see some of the things are still installing. Once we have all the things installed here, we can go to our local host 3000. We can reload this and we will have a chat GPT like UI. And I will just navigate you through the UI because how it works is whatever model you have downloaded with Olama, it will be already available in this Olama web UI. And also the good part of this is you can also integrate open AI API keys and use the open AI models also, meaning that you can have, let's say, chat GPT free version 
also as well as a GPT, like let's say paid version, which which is using GPT-4, right? As you can see here, this sign into the Olama Web UI don't have an account. We need to sign up. But if you now go to the terminal, as you can see, everything is installed. And if I do here Olama list, we already have the Mistral model that I downloaded in my previous video. Now let's go here and let's sign up, right? I don't have any uh, thing installed before. I will just go here and do sign up. You can just put your name, Sudarshan. I will use basics data shines gmail.com and I will use the password here. I will use the password and I will create the account, right? Save password for localhost. Okay, no, I don't want to save it. So, yeah, as you can see here, now the UI looks similar to Chat GPT, right? What it shows here is Olama Web UI and select a model and here is the things as in the chat GPT. You can have the new chat, model files, prompt, documents, and all the different things. It shows your name here and tell me a fact and show me a code snippet. I hope now you can resemble this with, with the chat GPT UI. Here is the option called select a model, right? If I go here now, you can see there is the Mistral latest 3.8 GB. This is the one as I showed you in the terminal also. Here we have the Mistral. If we download other models, it will be already shown here. I have the Mistral and I can now go here and say, okay, tell me a fun fact. Now, as you can see, tell me a random fun fact about the Roman Empire. Now it is using the Mistral model to provide us the answer. That's really good. Now we have similar to ChatGPT UI and it's quite good. And as you can see here, once this is done, it provides the heading also here. That's really good. And if you go to the setting part here, from here, you can see different things now. As I said you, there is this Olama API URL also here and you can provide the system prompt already from here. There is the advanced things. Here you can provide the seed, stop, sequence, what is the temperature, this is the default. You can just go here and change if you want and all the other things also you can change. I will just do save. That's fine. I can again go here and this is the models. Pull a model from olama.ai. The good part here is if you have already downloaded the model, you can choose from the drop down. If you want to directly download the model from the UI itself, you can just download here. For example, here I can say Lama 2 and you can do the pull. It will pull the model from here. You can choose. This is the default one that I have and upload a GGUF model. You can even upload the model. I don't want to go in depth things here, but you get the idea that it allows us all the different options to use the model locally. And if you now go here, there is external open AI API key. That's the thing I just said you that you can even use the open AI API key. I'll test one here. For that, we need to have the API key and the base URL. Base URL is already here. For the API key, I will go to the API option here. I will click here, create new. I'm showing you this because I will be deleting this once I create this video. I will go here. I will paste in the open AI API key. I will save this. Now the OpenAI model is being added, right? What I can do here is new chat here. And from here, I can go and choose different models. How it is appearing here is because I provided the OpenAI API key. Before it was just the Mistral latest 3.8 GB, right? Now I can go here and choose as many models as I want. Meaning that if I go with the GPT-4, this is similar to the paid version of chat GPT, right? So you can just go here. Let me go to GPT-3.5 Turbo. And now I can say, okay, mm, I can say here, okay, just, I will just go, okay, show me a code snippet. Yeah, as you can see here, the good part of this again is that the, the code, as you can see, it's similar to chat GPT, right? You can just go here and copy this. It's copied and then you can just paste you know, wherever you want. Next thing is also here. If you see, this is the share to Olama Hub or download as a file you can even download this as a file yeah i think this is this is really really good i will be creating more videos in the future and thank you for all the contributors of this uh, olama wave ui as you can see here there are many contributors here i'll just show you there are 28 uh, contributors thank you all of you who are contributing to this project yeah i'm enjoying creating videos and also learning myself i hope you learned something new today thank you for watching and see you in the next video